Razzy, just the idea of, and I, I probably talked about it at length and it's still early, but uh, just the idea of, of you and your, the evolution of your career and potentially uh, being uh, somebody who can quarterback the power play, what that means to you as you, you know, potentially take that on with regularity. Yeah. I mean, as you said, it's still early and uh, obviously I get my opportunity now. It's for me, it's all about um, taking care of the opportunity and uh, make the best of it. And uh for my career, yeah, I mean, it's it's a spot uh, all the defensemen really wants who's offensive-minded, and I think I am. So, uh, you know, I just got to go out there and um, take up, take the opportunity and um, show them that um, I can play up there and uh, I can do a good job at it. Does it sort of feel as though even for you – sorry, Kels, I apologize. Um, does it sort of feel that you are finding – another level to your game at this point? I know we've talked about this year in, year out. You've just seen that progression. You've seen that evolution to your game. Does it feel like that to you that now, I don't want to use the word you've arrived because you've been here, but does it feel like you have found yet another level to your game? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I thought personally I played a, I played pretty good in the playoffs. And uh, obviously I want to I want to take that uh, confidence with me going into the season. I know uh, – you know, we're all hungry. We're all hungry. We have a hungry team in here. And um, for me personally, too, obviously, I'm hungry and uh, I get an opportunity like this. Uh, for me, it's all about taking care of the opportunity and uh, try to make the best out of it. And I know I play the position in the past, too. So, um, yeah, I just got to get comfortable at it again. It's been a little while, but, um, you know, I, I feel ready for the opportunity. And uh, for my game overall, too, I think uh, I keep growing uh, every year. So I want to keep growing this year. Okay, we'll go to Danny Austin next. Thanks, Sean. Uh, Rasmus, just playing with Noah Hannafin, um, what does he do to make your your life easier out there? Well, he's a really smart player, and obviously he's a great, great skater. He's an elite skater, and, uh, you know, we have that really good com communication between the two of us. Obviously, we're really good friends off the ice, and that makes it that makes it way easier, too, to play with each other. And, um you know, we, we played back and forth uh, for a little bit the last few years, obviously, when there was a few injuries and stuff. But this year um, and uh, in playoffs, um, we played with each other and I thought we played well in playoffs. And uh, we just got to keep uh, keep going here. And, um, you know, we both got a lot of confidence in each other. And uh, that's the most important thing. Thank you. Wes Gilbertson. There, I was going to say, no uh... – for the last couple of years, it feels like we've talked about you as a guy who was, you know, kind of pushing to be on that top pair when you've come into camp and, and it's maybe more a case of, you know, you're a guy who's expected to spend a lot of time on that top pair. Does, does anything change mindset wise? Does that change anything for you? Um, not really. Uh, obviously when I'm on the power play it changes because, uh, the last few years I played a flank and uh, so it, it changes a little bit, obviously, but, um, you know, it's a position I grew up playing and um, I've always felt comfortable in the position. And, uh, you know, now it's just uh, now it's just the time of getting back to being comfortable in the position. I haven't played it obviously in the last two, three years. So, uh, you know, the, the reps in practice are really good and uh, tonight's going to be a good test too. And, um you know, I feel ready for it, and uh, I feel excited about it. That's the most thing I feel excited about. I feel excited to show, you know, the coaching staff that I'm the man for the job, and um, I got to do the little things right. I got to bring up the puck with uh, a lot of purpose and uh, try to give as much space and speed to Johnny and Lindy and, uh, you know, Chucky and Monty up there, and when I have the opportunity to shoot, I got to take it. And uh, so that's that's the one thing – that's that's the thing I'm focusing on, right, to just um, to show everyone that um, – I can play the position and I can play good. Hey, we'll go to Slim next. Hey, Rasmus, how much um, goes into exit interviews after a season and you telling the coach, hey, that you want a specific role and, and sort of honest communication between you and Jeff during those exit interviews? You now have the quarterback job here. How much of that was sort of built off during your exit interviews from last season? Well, me and me and Ward has a uh, good communication overall, and you know uh, we talk about it quite a bit. And you know we have that open communication with each other. That um, he asked me what position I feel most comfortable at on the power play, and I've said the top because that's the one position I've always played when I grew up. And um, 
you know, if that leads to me playing the point or not, I, I can't answer that. And uh, I don't have the answer for it. But uh, for from a personal standpoint, you know, we have a good communication and he knows where I'm at and he uh, he knows where he's at. And, uh, you know, we, we've talked about it a lot lately. And um, I just honestly feel uh, I just feel grateful that they um, put the confidence in me and I'm going to I'm going to show them every night that I'm the guy. Okay, back to Wes. Rasmus, it feels like you spent maybe more time around Calgary during the this offseason than, than a lot of the guys who haven't made this a full-time home. What what went into the decision to be here as long as you were? Uh, well, obviously, it's a pandemic around the world. And uh, we, we haven't bought in a house or apartment back home. We rented it. Um, before COVID situation hit. So we rented it to the end of August, uh, like a normal season would. And then um, my fiance, she's uh, studying. So um, she wanted to be somewhere safe. And uh, I, I didn't mind staying here at all. You know, I have uh, obviously a lot of good friends in town. And um, and as I said, it's a pandemic around the world. So it, it, in my opinion, I don't think it really matters where you would have been I mean it's the same back home you know I I'm, I was still really careful of seeing my parents and stuff when I was home with my grandparents and all of that stuff so um it, it, it was a little bit of everything honestly but um the, the main reason was it was a pandemic and you know we uh I, I don't mind staying here because I know work with RVA and Selby uh, every day is uh, it's really good for me and uh and I want to take the next step too. And those two are obviously really good trainers and uh, I have a really good trainer at home too, but just overall, it was, it was no specific reason. Honestly, it was just uh, the timing didn't go as we planned. And um, yeah, we didn't mind staying here. I know, uh, I know we're seeing you with Noah right now, but do you think the kind of extra time skating with Mark Jordan will, will eventually pay off for you as well? I, I, I couldn't answer that I, even if I wanted to. I mean, I I love playing with Noah and uh, we played with each other in playoffs too. So uh, we're being we're really comfortable with each other and um, he's the one I'm paired with right now. So uh, we're going to go out there and uh, play our best hockey. Uh, 